your first chapter is so important. It's the first thing that readers will see if they pick up your book in a bookstore or if they click that look inside tab on Amazon. And your first chapter isn't just a place to give a great impression to your readers, but it also needs to introduce your main character, give the hook, it establishes a sense of place, and it sets the tone for your entire novel. So there is so much that needs to be packed into this one chapter, and it can feel a bit overwhelming when you actually go to do it. But don't worry, I have three tips for you to help you get started on your first chapter. So the first tip is to introduce your main character right away. This is the person that your readers will be spending the entire novel with. So you don't want to wait until the third paragraph to introduce them. If you can, introduce them within the first sentence, if not, at least by like second or third sentence. The main character has a lot to do with why people read your story in the first place. I mean, imagine The Hunger Games without Katniss or Harry Potter without, well, Harry Potter. The main character really draws readers into the story before the bombs go off or the dragons attack or the best friend betrays the main character or whatever exciting thing you have planned later in the novel. Readers won't actually get to that part if they have no connection to the main character. So make sure you introduce the main character right away in a way that is memorable, that is funny or intriguing or exciting. Just kind of have a way to show who this person is so that the audience can connect with them right away. Tip number two is to start with action. And this doesn't mean that you have to start your novel out with a car chase or a sword fight, but it does mean that you want to avoid starting your novel with your main character just sitting on a couch thinking about their life. So while you might not start out your novel with this really action-packed scene, it does mean that you want to have your characters doing something, and preferably something that is going to show the character a little about that world or kind of give a hint into what the story is going to be about. So for example, in Divergent, it starts out with Triss getting her hair cut by her mother. And while this isn't very exciting and action-packed, it does introduce readers into the unique world that the story takes place in. So if you do start your book out with a sword fight, make sure that it isn't just there for the sake of action. You want it to progress the story in some way. You want it to be um, a pathway to sharing things about the world and kind of introducing the reader to that world. So for example, say you've written a fantasy novel and in it people are able to, like some people are born with the ability to bend metals or to change metals in some way. So when someone comes out them with a sword, they can simply melt the sword completely. And that would be more than just a normal sword fight. It would be showing hey, this world has different elements than our own. So start out with action, but make sure it's not just action for the sake of action. Make sure that it serves a purpose. So tip number three is to give the hook. And the hook is that thing that is going to keep readers reading your story. It's gonna keep things exciting until you get to the inciting incident. So one way to do this is to make sure that you give your character a challenge. Something that isn't there at the beginning of the chapter, by the end, your character should have some sort of challenge in their life. So back to the example of the person that can manipulate metals. Say that story starts out with him melting the soldier's sword so he can escape with a stolen loaf of bread that he took to feed a starving family. And say that this gets him noticed by this secret group of magic users that is plotting to have the king who made magic illegal in the first place assassinated so that one of their own group can take over. Maybe the main character doesn't accept to join this group right away in the first chapter, but this does make a conflict, put a conflict into his life because now he's going to have to wrestle with this question of should I stay in the safe life that I know and be comfortable or should I risk my life to help my country? So this isn't the inciting incident, but it does give readers an incentive to keep reading until they get to that inciting incident because it gives them a peek into the kinds of problems and kinds of things that will be happening in that novel. 
what you want to do is put a conflict in your character's life in that first chapter so that by the end of chapter one your character's life will be drastically different so that way readers will know oh something actually is going to happen in this book so those are all of my quick tips on writing your first chapter if you want to know a little bit more about writing your first chapter I will be posting another video tomorrow because there's just so much more to writing your first chapter than what could fit into a five minute video so I'll be posting that tomorrow and I guess I will see you guys tomorrow because you better click on that video.